I want to welcome everyone to today's meditation. It's on embracing your longings. And please focus on your breath. Feeling the rise and fall of your breath. Allowing your breath to anchor you. Allowing your breath to ground you. Let yourself tune into your heart as you breathe. And ask yourself, is there something missing in your life right now? Tuning into your heart, allowing it to speak to you. What's your heart yearning for? you allow these feelings of yearning to emerge more from your heart. Just ask your heart again, what does it yearn for? See if you can allow your answer to deepen or to simplify. Perhaps your yearning is for love, peace, beauty, truth. Belonging. mattering, or any other desire that's close to your heart. Can you accept whatever arises? Notice where this desire lives within you. And as you sit with your desire, notice that you don't have to act on this desire in order to welcome its presence.
as you allow yourself to just inhabit this feeling of your wanting, of your yearning for something. See how gently you can hold it. Hold your longing, your yearning with reverence. Whatever desire you're having, whatever desire you're in touch with, just notice that there's nothing wrong with having this desire. And whether or not you choose to act on this desire, take this moment to honor it, to embrace its raw power in whatever way you choose. This desire is a child of your most primal life force. It's the very source of your love and your aliveness. This desire shares blood with all that's passionate and glorious within you. And the brightness of the flare of this desire illuminates the brightness of your heart. So I invite you to embrace whatever yearnings, desires, longings you have. Just welcome them, be with them. And then gradually, gradually, as you're ready, bring your attention back to your breath. Feel the support of your chair. And as you're ready, bring your attention back to this room. We'd love to hear from you in chat or via voice what came up for you. Just a few words. That was so beautiful. Thank you, Mavis. <laughs> and I could connect so deeply with myself straight away. And I yearned for like fun and lightness. Uh, yeah, and also friendships. 
But yeah, it was so amazing to jump right in. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, Yana. It's really great to see you. And I'm just happy to see everyone who's here. David, haven't seen you in a long time and you now have a crew cut. And Richard, it's good to see you for the first time. Yes, good to meet you. Look forward to more meditations. More meditations, is that what you said? Yes. Every Monday. Okay. Love to see you here. Suli. I felt like I... Diane and then Suli. Were you talking, Diane? I felt, yeah. I felt like I was, I'm finally coming alive after the move, the COVID, the cancer, and everything else. The last couple of days, um, visiting with a friend, Vera, uh, it's feeling like I'm wanting to do things, to dig out my crystals, uh, to study, to learn, to share, missing the intimacy. And, yeah, um, so I, I hear you saying that you're coming alive, and I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Suli and then Matthias? Suli, you need to unmute yourself. Yeah. Didn't know. <laughs> Here I am. For me, it was uh, really good because I went right into it. I had a little trouble connecting at 12 or 11.58, but I jumped right in, right in the beginning. And deep inside touched me because it's just going back to allowing the flow and not trying to make things happen. And yes. so many challenges uh, this past year and a half, actually three years, it brought back the way it was for me, always in the flow. So it was very, very positive, very beautiful. I almost didn't want to come back. <laughs> oh, thank you, Suli. It was really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Matthias? Yeah, I love that so much as well. Thank you, Suli, allowing the flow. Uh, for me, it was connecting with my desire for loving connection and that connecting with the part of me who was missing that for most of my life. And even being in intimate relationships where I didn't really have that. And now I have more of that than I've ever had. And Reflecting on that, I think that a big part of that is connecting with or look, watching out for people who have, you know, who help me thrive. And Mavis, you are one of the most important ones. And I think you know that. And it's just important. Um, You're important to me too, Matisse. Thank you. Thank you. David? make this brief as I, as I can. Um, I was amazed how quickly um, I was able to get into the heart. I was imagining the heart, Mavis, as you're leading us there, that flare that you talked about, right? And um, I was amazed how quickly that flame became in my image, showed up in my mind and just really letting that be part of my, who I am and, and strength really felt empowering. So um, thank you for helping us to get in connect, connected with ourselves so quickly and deeply. Thank you, David. And I'm, I'm really proud of all of you for how quickly you just seem to have dropped into this. And Shanjani. Chandrani says, beautiful affirmation to embrace the feelings coming up as the source of passion. I need to hear that. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here today. I just I just want to observe the 15 minute time frame because we don't need that much time to really get connected to ourselves. And I love seeing all of you. I'm going to stop the recording now and hope to see you again next week.